I'm Ian Collins and I'm the curator of the John Craxton and Modern Odyssey exhibition at Pallant House in Chichester. Here we are in Chichester, but not in the gallery. We're in this magnificent cathedral where John was once a choir boy. So it's very good we are here, but there's also an extension of the exhibition here because there's a monumental work that wouldn't fit into the gallery. So let's go and see it hanging in the cathedral. So this is the monumental work I mentioned. Uh, in 1967, John Craxton was, was expelled from Athens, from Greece, uh, by the uh, military regime that took power there. He'd mocked authority once too often and he was out. Very shocked for him that, that, happened, for, that it happened. He wandered all over Europe and he ended up in uh, Edinburgh, the Athens of the North, and he designed and oversaw this monumental tapestry for the new university at Stirling. It's four metres by four metres. It's a, it's, an, it's a huge thing. And I'm told that it includes 500 colours, which uh, is every colour available to a weaver. And basically John designed it and then he oversaw it. And there were six weavers sitting in a line and they were supposed to take six months, but they took 18 months because John was so uh, such a stickler and he kept getting them to unpick what they'd done the day before. So it nearly bankrupted the studio. It drove the weavers mad, although they also loved him. But finally, they came up with this complete masterpiece. So it's called Landscape with the Elements, Fire, Water, Earth and Air. And he's actually putting into it everything he feels about the, the landscape and the atmosphere of Greece and particularly of Crete. And although he was a painter of joy, at this point, he was an exile from Greece, the place he loved more than anywhere. So I think it's slightly mournful, it's nostalgic, it's a work of elegy. He doesn't know whether he'll ever get back. So he, his work is full of symbols. Uh, he liked them all to be quite subtle and secret. So the centre of the piece is a Cretan ravine, a Cretan gorge, um, um, his favourite one in Crete. And it's become here a symbol of rupture, a breakage of separation. Uh, and it splits the, the, the tapestry. And so the, the piece is full of symbols and the most secretive, uh, as he told me, is climbing up the side of the, of the gorge, there is a goat. And the goat has climbed too near to the sun and it's caught fire. So it's Icarus, it's the Icarus legend, uh, but it's also the story of John Craxton himself, whose jokes had burnt him. <laughs> he is the goat on fire in the tapestry. Uh, and the good news is that just after this was finished, uh, the colonels fell and John was able to get back to Greece where he lived happily ever after.